their job. Inside of the uprights. The Giants prepared to return the kickoff. They'll take it at the 20. The Giants get ready to start their drive. Two-minute warning looms, and this may be the last play before it hits. First and 10. Catch made. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Handoff. Jennings inside. And Sean Weatherspoon makes the hit. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. And he's thrown to the ground. It's third and 15 here after the sack. They're going to the hurry-up offense, and they're back to the line quickly. And he's sacked again. That's a timeout by the D. They'll call on Weatherford for the punt. Hester's going to take this one from the 22. That's a gain of six. They face first down. They come out in the dime package. And he takes off. Throws to the right. Almost intercepted. Well, Jim, I threw a lot of passes like that in my career where it should have been intercepted, and the guy dropped it, and you just go, yes, I got a break. Now can you capitalize on the break? Jackson's in the backfield. Single back set. Pass hits the ground and goes incomplete on the short throw. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Lafay throws the pass. Unable to complete that one. That's a very quick three and out. On the the play. Play. <laughs> Matt Bosher ready to punt. <laughs> and a touchback. The Giants bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. And Manningham's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Manning's going to take it from the gun. Makes the reception. And Jennings is brought down. The Giants signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. And Jennings is brought down. Offense going to stop the game here with a timeout. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Manning from the shotgun. He'll fire it out to the left, and that'll probably go as a drop. Well, he dropped the football, and there's no doubt why he dropped it. You have to look it in. The Giants doing their part to spread breast cancer awareness this month in the NFL. Plenty of pink on their uniforms today and throughout the stadium. Trying to work that left side. This team, one of the better tackling teams in the NFL, and they play the situation perfectly. They give up the short completion. They come up and make the tackle. Now we have a fourth down. No 
will return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The Falcons offense heads on to the field. Jones in the slot. First down at the 20. Jackson's going to secure the handoff. Left side. Falcons have leaned on the ground game to this point, and it's been big for them. Jackson's posting big numbers, Phil. I still think they'll be able to run the football, and here's why. The defense is worried about the passing game. When you're that worried about the pass, the running game is there, and the offense is taking advantage of it. Keeps it here, running away from the pressure. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. Just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines they keep calling the wrong plays, but he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep down the middle. Third down and three. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Ball's incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Looks like they'll go three and out on this series. Hey, you throw the pass on third and short, hoping to catch the defense off guard, and it did not work. The defense is ready. Good job by the defensive players. They are close enough to a first to go for it here on fourth down. Offense lines up here. The Falcons from the 27, getting away from the pressure. Ooh, they failed to pick up the first, and the ball will go back to the other side. That is called rolling the dice, and that's what it is. It's a big gamble by the offense and the coach. You go for it on fourth down, you don't make it, now you're going to pay the price. The Giants from the 27. And he's forced to the ground. The Giants signal for the timeout, and they have none remaining. After that sack, dropped them back nine yards. It sets up second down at 19. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? And he puts it through for three. That does it for the first half. Giants trailing this one. Bosher will be sending this one towards the end zone to get the second half started. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. First down, offense readying for the snap. And now here's the first snap of the second half. And Jennings is brought down. We see now just some of the many hits this quarterback has taken during a challenging day for him, Phil. Jim, it's very understandable why he is not playing well today. Think about it. When you have less time to make a decision on where to throw the football, you are not going to have a great day. Quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a sixth time in this game. Second down and seven. He's got the catch. Taken down at the 27. The Giants, a lot of people like to throw screens and run draws. No, they look deep down the field. It's not there. They throw it short. They pick up some good yards. Now they can do what they want on third, run, or pass. Incomplete as that ball sails out of bounds. Number 10, passes pass, pass ball incomplete. And so now they'll call on Weatherford to punt the football. Hester's going to try and return this punt. And he gains maybe three. Very lucky that time on that punt return. The coverage was outstanding, and the returner's just lucky he didn't fumble the football. The Falcons will begin their drive from the 31 now.
offense lines up here. Now first and ten. Throw to the left. He's got the catch. Williams, the one who made the big stop. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Falcons take it from the 23. Going to try and scramble now. That's Ryan connecting with Roddy White. Defense has ruled today's game, Phil. Yeah, the defense is dominating, and I'm going to be honest, it's fun to watch. Every once in a while, I like to see the offense take a beating to this. The NFL, it's all about the offense. It's nice to see the defense dominate. The Falcons snap it at the 36. It's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. I think as time has gone on, more and more coaches and teams, we see them going for it on fourth and short. But this decision, you're, you're winning the game fourth and short. You're near midfield. I don't think you go for it. Don't let the pressure of the fans or your players get into your mind. Put the football away. That's the right decision. Halfway through the third quarter, he's brought down right around the 43-yard line. That's what you want to do. Get a first down while you're on top and keep that clock moving and just controlling the football game. Good job by the offense managing things so far here today. Offense lines up here. The Falcons take it from the 43. Takes off with it. Jackson's got it and on a pass. Had some heat on it. Well, here we are in the second half of a tight game, and you, you always hear this, control the tempo of the game, just move the chains, and that's what the offense did that time. Picked up the first down and just keep marching from here. Looking to go up top again on first down, and that pass is swatted away by Rodgers Cromartie. And Phil, in a close game where neither quarterback has played well, it's going to be interesting to see who steps up at the end. Yeah, you got to know as a quarterback in situations like this, that it's probably not going to get better. So you've got to deal with it mentally and try to fight through it and make some plays down the stretch. Jones has got it. First down. Atlanta in the end zone. Touchdown. 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 What a tough throw and catch into a tight spot right there for the touchdown. But in today's game, these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic. They've got to make the catch. That time he did. Falcons lined up now for the point after. Add the extra point. The kick is good. Ryan certainly given his team some momentum with that scoring drive. He just put together a possession where he threw for more than 60 yards. Touchback here will bring the ball out to the 20. It's first down as they head to the line. Eli Manning will take it from the center here. He'll keep it on the play fake. And this is dropped. These receivers in the NFL, they are so good now. Anytime you see a drop pass, it's almost always the one reason. They took their eyes off the football before it got there. And Manningham's lined up in the slot. And that's Dent in on the stop. The Giants trail right now, and you wonder how much the running game stays a part of the game plan. And Jennings been shut down from his very first carry on. No balance by this offense, like you said today. They can't run the football, but I've said this all the time. It's not always about just dominating physically and blocking up front. Running backs have to do their part. They have to make good decisions, and they got to break some tackles. I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense, because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. Hester's got it on the return. Charging ahead. And there's only two yards to be found right there. Well, only a couple yards that time by the punt returner. Good defense by the punt coverage team. They get down their speed. They hustle. They're all around him. They only give up a couple yards. 
Matt Ryan under center. First and ten. Has his man taken down at the 39. The Falcons have surprisingly fallen into a funk here with their passing game. Ryan's got all the tools in the world, but he's had consecutive off weeks. Yeah, when you have that kind of talent at the quarterback position, when it doesn't work, I know it's frustrating. You can almost see it when you watch him play. He's frustrated, can't quite understand why everything is not clicking. First down coming up. They come to the line, and it's first down. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. That's a gain of eight. Looking ahead, the Giants will be on the road in Philadelphia next week, while the Falcons will be playing at home next week. Coming up, second down. Jackson taking it up the middle, and he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. Jackson is able to show everybody why he should get the football more. Good job that time finding his way and picking up a first down. Matt Ryan under center. First down at the 26. Shakes off the hit. Jackson's brought down, but not until he gives his team a new set of downs. First down here after the run. Offense lines up here. Another handoff. Williams is going to make the tackle. The Falcons have turned it up a notch with their running game today, Phil. Jackson's been absolutely brilliant and almost impossible to bring down. What a dominating performance by this offense today. Just coming out and out hitting the defense, giving the running back opportunities, and they are taking advantage of it. And they knock him down just a yard away from the first. Offense lines up here. Three steps drop. Here's the handoff and they'll run it. Just when they needed it at last to hit on a third down Number conversion. Well, he gets tackled inside the five-yard line. That's the great thing. The bad thing is hard to score once you get inside the five-yard line in the NFL. The defense loading up on the line, getting set for this snap. The defense is ready to plug up the middle here on the goal line. First and goal from the one. Touchdown, Atlanta! Well, it's first and goal. I think a lot of defenses are thinking run here, and so the offense, they call a nice play, very deceptive. They throw the football, and they get the easy touchdown pass. Falcons now will tack on the extra point. The point after is good. The Giants are getting ready for the return. And can they return to a competitive state in this one as the game is starting to get out of hand? The score is 24 to 3. He'll take it from the four. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Giants offense now marches onto the field. This will probably be the last play before the two-minute warning here in the final quarter. First down and 10. Beckham has got the catch and the first. Two minutes remaining, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First down here after the completion. Beckham is a receiver in the slot. Should have had it. Jernigan's going to go back to the huddle and look at all his teammates and go, my bad. Well, they know it's your bad. Everybody, even the offensive linemen, they saw you were open and you dropped the pass that was right to you. But, hey, that's the way it goes. You know, you got to keep the confidence up. I think he will. And I'm sure the football will find its way towards him again soon. They're going to get him here for a sack. So they get to the quarterback on that last play. Third down coming up. Under fire all day. The Giants face fourth down. Want to take a timeout before they snap the football.
touchback. First down on the way. Gives it to Steven Jackson. He's tackled right at the 31. The Falcons have clearly enjoyed being able to take the air out of the football when needed today. Jackson's been called on, and he has stepped up big time, Phil. Rex Ryan, the coach of the New York Jets, he made this saying almost famous, ground and pound. And that's what's happened here today. They are just grounding the defense into shreds and, and winning so far. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. They'll go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. Ryan still has it. Gets it out for the completion. And tackled down at the 49-yard line. That's an awesome job by the offense picking up this first down here in the second half. They've got a big lead. It's not about scoring anymore. It's just about milking that clock. And that is an art that this team is good at. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Here an offensive lineman. and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. The Falcons take it from the 43. And now he'll take off. Atlanta in for the score. Well, that had nothing to do with the outcome of the game, but still... A very nice play there on the last play to score that touchdown. The Falcons for the extra point. Driving extra point is good. The Giants' hopes are now slim and none as they surrender a late score. The score's 31 to 3. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. He'll start his return. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. First down here. This will be the final snap. Going for the home run. And McClain nearly picked off that pass. Bill, before we go, how about a little chat about how much this win means? Well, you know, Jim, let's look at it this way. It was just a nice win. It, it keeps your confidence up, and it just gives you a little energy to, uh, to go out next week and try to accomplish it again.